But the thing about golf is the poker game starts right away. It starts even before we tee off. It's not how you play, it's how they think you play. That's what matters. We're the greatest hustlers in the world, going after each other. And you gotta hear the stuff they're telling me. One guy is worse than the next. I haven't been playing golf. Now I'm broke down. Right now, I'm putting terribly. I mean, I'm the shortest hitter. There's a lot of guys coming in with braces on and ice packs and band-aids and everything. And they're all crying. Oh, my back's been hurting me. You know, I'm not playing too well. I'm like, yeah, right. You can't believe anything anybody says in a golf course, especially this group of guys here. I mean, they, they'll just tell you anything. You know, Phil will say that he's working on something new and he just can't play at all. And I'll complain about my back and how old I feel. You'll have people say, well, yeah, I like to play, but I haven't played in three months. That's your problem, pal. They basically, everyone's kind of setting themselves up to give themselves an advantage, to negotiate. These guys are a little bit too tough to shark, though. They've, they've all been around too long. You're not picking on um, a little water lily here. You're, you're picking on the alligator under the water lily. You can't hustle the greatest hustlers in the world. Here's one of those big alligators, six foot seven, 38-year-old Huckleberry Seed. This was his second shot on the 11th. Well, the former world poker champion playing the hill nicely here. Huck and his partner, David Gray, actually the favorite to win this tournament today, but things not going so well for him. He would go on to make that eagle putt. Plus one through 16 is where they stand right now. He has a reputation of being big and quiet, but Huckleberry opened up in our small blind. My dad had really loved the name. He's a writer, and uh, Mark Twain was his favorite writer, and he just always had decided if he had a son, he would name him Huckleberry. You know, our last name is Seed, so it kind of goes with Seed. Uh, so then my dad named my, my sister Caraway, Caraway Seed, and then my little brother Cotton, and then went to Leaf, which was a little more conventional, and then Shoshana, which was super conventional, at least for our family. He's the anti-Daniel Negreanu. <laughs> Huck Seed to 15 and Butch Holmes another team that was thought to be among the favorites here today but not the case in terms of the leaderboard well it's been a disappointing day for Butch and his partner Big Al DiCarlo but a nice shot right there by Butch Holmes Phil Helmuth not making much noise so far out there with his partner Russ Hamilton this is second shot on 16 well, these two former World Poker Champions having a tough day out on the course today. Right. Now, 11 World Series of Poker bracelets for the Poker Brat. But he doesn't look to cash in here in this best ball tournament. Back to 15, Vince Van Patten teamed up with Janet Jones Gretzky. Now, that's a great athlete. Used to be a pretty good golfer, about a six or seven handicap. Hadn't played in a while, but when he heard about this tournament, he's tuning up his game. Of course, a former Rookie of the Year on the Pro Tennis Tour. Back at 14, our final group, Phil Ivey's second shot. That's a pitching wedge, 110 yards. A little hurting breeze, trying to bring this ball in from the right. Uh, perfectly done there. Just past the hole. The wind just stopped. Huh? Can't hit any better. I know you. Perfect swing. Out Confidence for Phil Ivey. See if that carries over to his playing partner, David Oppenheim. This is Sandwich. Should be able to spin this ball. Hit it nicely. Just going to be past the flag stick. Spin. And nicely done. Two good looks there. Check back in with Vince Van Patten. We saw his tee shot on 15. This for birdie. Oh! Just missed that on 15. So I'll try to tap in for par here. And Van Patten. Oh! And that hits the same lip. Wow. So a bad day just got worse, which can happen from the moment you pick up the phone with this group, as he tells us in our small blind. 
Mike said, well, Vance, uh, you know, Doyle wants to speak to you about your golf game. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, Doyle, how you doing? He goes, how are you shooting out there, son? I go, uh, you know, to be honest, Doyle, I shot a 97 from the blues. He starts laughing. I go, oh, that's what? He couldn't even, he hung up the phone because the laughter was so great. You know, he, he goes, then you ought to quit the tournament right now because you got no chance. Boom, he clicks, hangs up the phone. That's the kind of thing we're dealing with right now. It's one con artist against the other ones. But it was the truth. I was shooting horrible a few weeks ago. Yeah, who's the con artist now, Mike Sexton? <laughs> uh, well, they say 90% of all golf matches are won on the first tee. Butch Holmes here on 15. Not even close with that birdie attempt. Butch Holmes has really had a disappointing day out here at Valley High. Let's head back to 14 and our leaders, John Hansen and Mickey Appleman. Mickey Appleman hit his shot into the water, so this is the second shot for John Hansen. They stand right now at five under. Well, the saddlebag's certainly on his back right now. As his partner's out of this hole. There you see a good look at the tee that is allowed as a handicap for John Hansen, who's really turned out to be one of the stars of the day. And it got away from him. Oh my goodness, gentlemen, that is in the back bunker and it's not gonna be easy from there. Mike, feeling the pressure there? Well, no doubt about it, Joe. He grabbed the handlebars, as we say. Absolutely choked on that shot. At all. I swear to God. Let's check in with Phil Helmuth at 16. This for Eagle. It's all of that for Bird, but Russ Hamilton had a very nice approach shot here on 16 and just has that left for Birdie. Russ Hamilton gets them to seven over through 16 as we check in with our leaderboard here at Bally High. Still a two-stroke advantage for Appleman and Hanson. More to come from Vegas. Hey, Internet poker players, how'd you like to shake the rake? All online poker sites charge a large fee to play at their tables, but now the secret on how to get most of it back is out. It's, it's called RakeFreeze.com. Keep more of your money and put a chill on the rake at RakeFreeze.com. Back at the 14th hole, huh? John Hansen, Billy Ray, coming out of the sand. Well, he's got a decent lie in the this yeah, green know, side bunker that sits over the green. I know what I need to do. I just don't know how to do it. Yeah, that's, that's one thing that uh, is very tough to do is technique here. All he has to do is land the ball just on the putting surface and it will trickle down. He's not sure how to do this. Now, if he hits it a little thin, there's water on the other side of the flagstick. That could come into play, too. I think if he gets it on the green, he'll be doing well. Just a fabulous shot here. Incredible. Well, that was money. And Mike, for a man that doesn't say he plays very much golf, that was nicely done there. Oh, you are right about that, Billy. Tiger Woods would be proud of that shot. Yeah, especially considering the fact that the pressure is completely on Hanson with his partner Mickey Appleman in the drink on this hole. To 16 and Janet Jones Gretzky. Well, her spot in this tournament, she can use a tee anywhere. Here you see her teeing it up. Out of the sand and hitting the driver. That's fine. It's getting the bucket. Chipping the putt for Bert? Yeah. No, we're chipping. Okay, we're going to be putting for So not able to reach the green. They'll be chipping on her third shot there on 16. Back to 14, where John Hansen is all by himself. While Phil okay. Ivey tries to cut into that lead. Yeah. This for Birdie. Phil is a terrific putter, but didn't get that one to go. Ran it past. Phil Ivey gives it a death stare there. <laughs> Dewey Tomko up ahead at 17, his second shot. 